Jason, you said you tried to make sugar crystals and you weren't too successful. <laughs> I've well, never had them work. Okay, well, here, here are all the ingredients you need, right? So go ahead, what did you do? Well, I put the water in the glass. Okay. And then what? Okay, I took sugar. And put quite a bit in at the beginning. Mm hmm Mix it up. And you kept adding it until, until it was a, what kind of solution was it? Saturated solution? Yeah, it what couldn't is, hold anymore. What does that mean, saturated? Yeah, it can't hold anymore. It's got as much as it can hold. Okay, let's assume that that's a saturated solution. Okay. Then what would you do next? Well, I'd, yeah, I'd put a little weight on the end of the string mm -hmm. so it would hold down, just hang it in the glass like that. And then nothing happened? No. Nope. What happened? Well, usually what would happen is you'd just get a crust on top and it would crust around the edges okay. and you couldn't see anything and you'd pull well, it out and there'd be nothing okay. on it. Okay, well, I've had uh, quite a lot of success uh, working with uh, sugar crystals. In fact, uh, wow, you can grow one like that very, very easily. Look at it. Isn't that a <laughs> beautiful one? You just yeah. didn't have any trouble. First place, it takes a long time. How long did you wait? Maybe a couple weeks. Well, at least that. Now, do you know the theory involved with what makes a how a crystal forms inside a solution like that? Well, sort of, because, like, it's got all it can hold, right? Yeah. So then when the water evaporates, there's not enough room for them all, and they start to stick together and Okay, stuff. but the important thing is the rate at which the water evaporates, because the little uh, sugar molecules are dissolved in the water, and mm -hmm. you should have it so that at the time when it begins to slow down, it's next to another sugar molecule and can attach onto it. If you evaporate it too fast, they'll deposit wherever they happen to be. So oh, the rate okay. of evaporation is important. In fact, one of the things you can do is to cover the glass like this to make it evaporate very slowly. See, I've got a little slot in there and you can pull it down like that. So that it should evaporate as slowly as possible. The more slowly it evaporates, the bigger the crystal we're gonna be. Okay. because they'll slow down at the right time. Then, the other thing is, did you start with hot water? Yep. You can start with hot water if you want, but just make sure that before you set it up, it's cool and no sugar is precipitated. Because if you do that, here's what happens. It'll start collecting on the bottom, and that was one I grew that, that was on the bottom of the glass. Why is it that funny color? Well, that's because I sprayed it with paint so that you, oh, can, see okay. the, you can see all the little planes. So it isn't transparent anymore. Right, it isn't okay. transparent anymore. And also, uh, you know, the sugar is dissolved in water, so you could drop water on this and it wouldn't, mm. wouldn't dissolve. But that's what it looks like when you let it just evaporate it uh, fairly quickly and let it all accumulate at the bottom. If you let it go long enough, you're going to get a great big one like that. Look. Wow. That looks sort of dull and worn away. Well, that's because I've been handling it, but you can fix that very easily by putting it back into a solution and the, the crystals will reform. Oh. So that's an easy way to do it. So now, do you think you can try it again? Do you think you may be able to be successful? I'll give it a try. Okay, just make sure that you have a saturated, but not super saturated solution, okay? Then hang the string in it and control the rate at which it evaporates. So it ought to be in a fairly dry place with a cover on the top so that you can control it. Okay. And you should have no trouble at all. And one of the nice things about growing sugar crystals is they're non-poisonous, and you can even eat them. Yum. In fact, there is a kind of candy called rock candy. I've had of, that. Right, and all they are are sugar crystals grown just like that.